Hi everyone. This tutorial will show you how you can upload a calendar to your Weebly website. To get started, whether you're using Weebly or whether you're using Google Sites, you have to start at the actual calendar. So I use Google Calendar to do everything and that's what I'm going to show you today. So to get to Google Calendar, you're going to go to Google. And here's the thing. I do not use my school Google account. I used to use my school Google account and then they changed the restrictions. So I used to be able to put on my calendar that there was extra help at 7 a.m. and I would share my calendar out and people would see Tuesday morning, 8 a.m., there's extra help. Now when I put in the events of my calendar, they don't show the events, they just show that I'm busy and that I'm blocked off. So I'll put in Tuesday morning extra help and they'll see Tuesday morning, 7 a.m., but when they open up to find out what's going on at Tuesday, it just says busy. So that's just a, you know, a restriction that my school has on Google calendars and um, constantly changing. So what I would recommend is you already have a personal Google account for the purpose of this class, so I would create a calendar in that class. So let's do that. I'm going to switch over from my Lindenhurst account to my personal account. Then you're going to go to the waffle right here and you'll see an option for calendar. So I'm going to take you to my personal calendar. So there's a lot going on there. Your calendar might be blank. You might not have anything on it, which is a nice way to get started. For me, I have a lot of calendars built into this one. So I have my personal calendar, which is color coded blue. And then I have my algebra class, which is over here, which is uh, color coded pink. Then I have my science class, which is color coded green. I use this for my honor society. So there's a lot of things going on here. So you have your personal calendar, which will come standard. It'll be next to your name over here. And when you put something in, it'll, it'll automatically go to that calendar. So side note, I do use my personal calendar for almost everything. I, it just helps me stay organized. So if you're someone that wants to work on organization, or even if you're already organized, um, I would definitely recommend putting things in your calendar. I have the calendar app on my phone, so I can just look up my calendar at any time. I could see when faculty meetings are, department meetings are, when I have important events. I mean, I'm at the point now where even if my fiance and I are going to a dinner or a birthday party on a Friday night, I put it on my calendar and I share it with him. And this way he knows exactly what our plans are. But, uh, you know, for the purpose of this class, um, I would suggest creating a calendar that will live in this calendar that is just for your class. So you have a personal calendar here, then you're gonna hit um, over here where it says add calendar, and you're gonna name that calendar, whatever you want it to be, for your class. So for this class, I'm going to hit add other calendar, create new calendar, and I'll call this calendar OWL class creating a website. Now your calendar might be, you know, Miss G's math class, um, Miss Clancy's science class, whatever that might be. So you're gonna create your calendar and then you're gonna hit create. And then your calendar's all set up. When you wanna add an event to a calendar, let's say you wanna say that there is a test coming up on the 11th. You will double click. You will put in here that you have test coming. Uh, sorry, let's say test on statistics. The most important thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to tell the calendar which calendar it's going on. This is my personal calendar, Christy DeLau. I don't want it to go there. I want it to go to my creating a website class. So I will click this down arrow, and then I'm going to put owl class creating a website. It'll be color-coded brown. And then I'll hit save, and it'll go to that calendar. If you wanted to add more details, let's say you want to attach a PDF, something that they could use to study, you're going to use these tools down here. So you're going to create your event, and you're going to hit save. 
make sure the color is the right color. You kind of get to know the colors after a while. My owl class is brown, so my tab should look brown. If it's any other color, it's not going to the right calendar. And then your calendar is all set up. And you're going to go back to this calendar, and you're going to add things, and you can move things around. And that's how you're going to add events on your calendar. Last thing you have to do is you're going to want to share this calendar to your Weebly. So you're going to go up to the calendar and you're going to click the three dots over here and you're going to go to settings. And this is a good place to go anyway if you want to take a look at your calendar. Um, one thing that you need to make sure is that you need to make sure the calendar is available to the public because again people are coming onto your website and they need to be able to see the details of your calendar. So don't worry though, this, the one that I'm making public is just this OWL class over here. So they won't see all the other things I have on my calendar. So I am going to make available to the public. Okay, making sure that you're, that this is reminding you that yes, this is going to the public. So you're gonna hit okay. And you're not putting anything personal here. You're putting tests coming up, quiz coming up and things like that. So then when you're done, you're gonna scroll down until you get to integrate calendar. And what we're looking for is this embed code. This embed code we're gonna copy and paste onto our web page. So you're going to click that code, copy it. Then you're gonna go back to your Weebly website. So you're gonna go, I have my Weebly website over here, www.weebly.com. The website that I wanna add it to is my Miss Allows class. I'm going to hit edit. Now yesterday I set up a tab and labeled it calendar. So today what I'm going to do is go to that tab. And I'm going to click calendar. And we got the embed code, right? So we need to look over here for where it says embed code. This, And you need to drag it. So I'm gonna click this embed code and I'm gonna drag it right over here. I'm gonna let go of it. Then I'm going to paste the embed code in here. So I'm going to click it once. Edit custom HTML. And then I'm going to paste. Then you're going to click outside of this box. And your calendar will appear. You can work with the preferences up here. I always like to keep it on month. I like, I think that's the easiest way. And you could see our test on statistics that we put is here. So now, again, to remind you, anytime you want to add anything to this calendar, this calendar is not clickable. This is pretty much just an image of your calendar. You need to go back to your calendar, which is always found in the waffle, and you're going to add any events that you want to. All right, so if you need to move anything around, you can move it around. If you still want to work on the background, maybe you want to make the background look a little bit nicer and change the color. Uh, I like yellow. Let's see. Oops, not yellow. All right, click outside. And then, as always, in order to save everything, you're going to hit publish up here. And then you remember you're copying and pasting this site into our Google Classroom once you're finished with the week's assignment. All right, hopefully that was helpful, and I hope you enjoyed.